How's it going everyone, Marty here, and today the new Ruby Ice Queendom trailer just dropped. If you didn't know what this is, this is a reimagining of Ruby Season 1, but more in a Japanese anime art style as opposed to the original CGI we had with Rooster Teeth. So yeah, I'm super hyped to watch this as a Ruby fan myself and an anime enjoyer. I cannot wait to watch this. So, without further ado, let's jump in. I mean, so far the, the art style looks really uh, refreshing, it's quite pleasing because, don't get me wrong, I love season one of Ruby, I think it's amazing, but you've got to admit at times the CGI is a bit rough to look at, I mean, there's a little CGI here from the looks of this bear, he's going to be CGI, but I mean, overall it's more of a more appealing uh, style to watch, like, like I say, don't get me wrong, I love Ruby, but them first few seasons are a little rough in the old animation department to watch. I mean, so far, all the, uh, all the character designs look really cool. Um, Yang's a little weird to me. Um, not necessarily in a bad way. I think I'll probably get used to it, but... Um, the other three look great. You know, uh, Ruby, uh, Weiss and Blake look fine. But I don't know, the suit seems a little off for Yang. But I don't know, I think it's going to take me a little while to change with this art style. Because I've been so used to the original Ruby art style for so long. It's going to be a bit different seeing the characters like this. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's a little weird seeing Ruby be quite uh, shouty and a bit angry because especially in season one of uh, the original Ruby she was like such a light-hearted, if anyone was kind of mean to her she just kind of she just understood that there was probably something uh, bugging the person, like with Weiss, like, she used to just always stick to Weiss like glue, even when Weiss was like, leave me alone and all that. Ruby used to just be like, oh, she'll learn to love me, kind of, eventually. But so far, this seems quite a, I don't want to say over-dramatised, but it seems like quite classic anime protagonist kind of vibes coming off Ruby. She's shouting at Weiss and stuff. It's a bit weird, but we'll see. So you're telling me that is not Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen? <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining, it's just, uh, <laughs> it looks just like Gojo, I'm sorry. There we go, Ruby Ice Queendom. Main staff, are we going to get anything at the end, I wonder? Oh? Oh, who could that be? <laughs> uh, that looks, honestly, especially the combat scenes in that look great to me. Like, the animation for the combat looks amazing. But, uh, obviously, it's not hard to improve on what the CG used to look like in Season 1. But, yeah. I'm really excited for this, I'm definitely going to watch it, I mean as a Ruby fan and an anime fan anyway, I was going to watch this, but hopefully this reinvigorates a bit of interest in the Ruby series, um, and brings a lot more people over, because I feel like the fandom has dropped off a bit and only like the real hardcore fans have stayed for a while, but um, yeah, I mean Ruby was always amazing, especially season 1 and 2, I know it's dropped off a little bit, but hopefully this reinvigorates a bit more in the series but yeah thank you guys for watching and watching my reaction to the new trailer it's very interesting i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below i'm sure this is going to be quite polarizing some people are going to love it some people are going to hate it for me personally um i'm kind of in between at the moment i don't think i hate it or i don't think i'm going to absolutely fall in love with it because 
not a lot can beat season one of Ruby. Like I say, the art style will help, but I mean, hopefully they do some changes because there were some things in the original I don't like, but I hope they keep a lot the same because it was it, one of the best series of Ruby we had. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time.